Hey there, before we continue with this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you have bell notifications for all uploads. Oh boy, it's the episode review. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. I think probably the main title will just be the special move, which is just Volcano Counter. Again, it's not a spoiler. Like we've seen it and like last week, it's literally just the name. Yada, yada, yada. How do I watch the episodes? VPN? VP at, at this point, I should be sponsored. A VPN company should sponsor me at this point. Like, I, I literally say every single video how to watch the episodes. Uh, get a VPN, send the country to Japan, and go to the Koro Koro YouTube channel. C-O-R-O, C-O-R-O. Yep. Go there, watch it. There's no subs. Support the official release. Don't don't comment stuff. It's not official stuff. And thank you. Okay, so the episode's really interesting because it's free getting a soda, and he remembers the first time he met the twins, and you get this cool moment that he does with the eyes, where he's getting all excited, and this really does remind me of Bailey Burst God. Ah, oh, it's it's really exciting. It's really really exciting. He does the cool thing with like the eyes. He's like he's getting serious. I, I do think Free has uh, matured quite a bit to where he doesn't really need to. Well, first of all, Free's shown his full power. We've seen it through Free versus Louis. I don't think I. A lot of people talk about the whole thing where oh he doesn't have the veins, but I think that's just the idea that probably they just don't want to draw it, so they just like he, he doesn't need to do the vein thing just to be at full power. Obviously, he, he's been at full power. I don't think. Well, I don't, it doesn't make any sense for you would be holding back. Anyways, um, yeah, Hikaru and Hyuga are getting fired up. Watch well, just Hyuga. Hikaru is strategizing. Silas remembers the first time uh, with Hyuga. I think Hyuga, didn't Hyuga body him too? Anyways, uh, they get prepped. So they're moving through the ranks. So, yeah. Wow, Free and Cisco are at the bottom. Yeah, they are the... They are out, by the way. I, I don't know if I need to say this. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, we're, it's in the review. It's in spoilers, obviously. Uh, but how did they lose? So, Free is Mirage Fafnir in absorb mode. Now, how they lose is stupid, though. So the twins, uh, you know, get excited. So what happens is, is that Hyperion and Helios are both hitting Fafnir at the same time, back and forth. Now, in, like for anime logic, right? I don't know how much sense that makes because Helios is hitting it, so it's losing stamina. But if Hyperion's hitting it, shouldn't it be stealing that stamina so it's not losing or gaining? I don't, I don't really get that. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really get the idea they're trying to go for. I mean, even if they, even if there's something they explain, it's just, just really weird. Uh, drum. Gets really excited, which is, what is it? It's like the pun thing was like, gotcha, whatever. Like, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I, 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 I don't remember the pun that he says. It's like whenever he says gotcha, never, whenever, whenever I, I just say it's or whatever in the, sen in the sentence that they're saying. Anyways, uh, they have the strategy, uh, Free gives the signal, and Free basically charges at uh, Curse Satan. Satan absorbs it, and it goes so fast that it hits the storm plate, and it speeds up because of the roller, and it forces Helios to go to the limit break. So I do recall the reason saying that, so they can't do the strategy of the twin limit break strike or whatever the twin limit break thing. So Helios is already uh, in the limit right limit broke mode, whatever. Uh, he yells. Cool animation sequence for his new special move, which is Volcano Counter. Beautiful CGI aura. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This aura wrapped around it, the aura just looks so good. The particle effects and everything really does look nice. So it ends up uh, that uh, they both, uh, Silas and you know, Ikaru are out. And then Hyperion just heals Limit Break and uh, Fafnir is defeated. Is, is more confusing. Now this is why I'm saying it's kind of just like, you know, plot convenience. <laughs> because, yes, it, now listen, if this was Hikar, if this, if we switch, if this was Helios Volcano at the end, the Young Limit Break, and it KO'd Fafnir, see, that would make sense. 
because it's a left bay on a left one and Fafnir can't absorb the spin because it's a left bay and it's not in counter mode. But if Fafnir doesn't have that much spin and Hyperion hits it, even if it's doing the limit break, I don't care if they say, oh, because the wings push out and knocked it out. Shouldn't it be like it steals a spin or like a slow-mo burst? I, I, I don't get it. If they wanted them to win, they could have just done it where Hikari beats him and Hugo was the one eliminated earlier on. Anyways, uh, Lane, uh, you know, does the gets, gets excited again. They're setting up for that final battle. Now next week, oh boy, next week is gonna be flames. Animation is look, animation not looking on point. You get really a nice expressive scene with Volk showing a lot of emotion and movement. Uh, you see a sparring sequence with Shu versus Lane where Shu beats Lane. So there's there, it's Volt and Rantaro. And then after it looks like Shu wants to take the lead in this. And this looks like it's a flashback right here. But in the next one, it looks like he's looking at Shu when Shu moves him to the side. And it's Valkyrie versus Spriggan that they're focusing on. So prediction? Likely, I'm hoping, right, that Lane and Rantaro get, like, they eliminate each other, maybe Volt eliminates and Rantaro eliminates whatever, and then she eliminates whatever, and then it's just Valkyrie and Spriggan. Now, I hope it's like that. It's not like, oh, Lucifer's there, and then after you literally break the end, and then after Lane and Shu win. If it's Volt versus Shu, I don't care who wins if it's a 1v1. If it's you, I'm fine. If it's Volt, I'm fine. I'm gonna be leaning towards Volt and Rantaro on this one in the comments. What side are you on? Who do you think's gonna take it? Now, I think it has to be Volt and Rantaro because they need the points. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Big stuff coming this weekend in terms of videos I wanna get out. <laughs> and uh, actually also a little bit of news. Uh, which should be in these next few days. So stay tuned on the channel. Make sure you have bell notifications on. And thank you, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.